the num shell 45 moved to ESM, so you should use the standard import instead of old imports. For example, here we import glib with the standard import. And you can specify the version when you need it. We don't have mapping for GNOME shell resources yet, so you have to use full resources address. Resource address is case sensitive. Also, resource address in perfs.js is a little bit different from extension.js. By the way, if something needs to be exported in GNOME Shell and hasn't been exported yet, please let us know in GNOME Extensions Matrix channel. Since your new extension modules won't be compatible with old shell versions, you should remove them and only use 45 in the shell version. The good news is that EGO supports multi-versioning, so you can still send multiple packages with different shell versions. Extension.js must have an export default class with enable and disable methods. Extension utils no longer has the helper functions you usually use in your extension. Instead, you can use extension and extension-based properties and methods. The properties and methods you can use in your extension default class is covering all the helper functions you had on extension utils. For init translations, you don't need it anymore. Only specify get text domain in metadata.json. GNOME Shell can automatically initiate the translation for you when it sees the get text domain key in metadata.json. Prefs.js must export a default class extending extension preferences class with fill preferences window method. All extension basis properties and methods can be used here too. Just like extension module, the perfs module is also offering translation functions. Let's have a quick look over all the new things GNOME Shell 45 is offering. Background app menu item is using a spinner animation that can start a spinning on creating the app. Backlight is a new section in quick settings that allows to control the keyboard backlight. Camera is a new indicator to show whether the camera device is in use. Add click action is a new method for draggable that allows you to add a click action to your draggable actor. Empress player has a new app property that gives you the current player app. And Search Controller offers Add Provider and Remove Provider, so you can add and remove the Search Provider object easier. Before I finish the video, I want to mention that we want all developers on GNOME Matrix channel, so we can help you with the port process. And also, you can let us know something in GNOME Shell source code needs to be exported. We may update the port guide documentation later, so please also check the official port documentation. As always, if you want to support my work, the link is in the description. Thanks.